Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today I will prove so-called law of cotangents of a triangle. Let us denote length of three sides BC, CA and AB as A, B and C respectively. And let us denote the angles opposite to those respective sides as alpha, beta and gamma respectively. Then we want to prove that cotangent alpha over 2 divided by s minus a equals cotangent beta over 2 divided by s minus b equals cotangent gamma over 2 divided by s minus c equals 1 over r. And this s is the semi-parameter of a triangle, which is defined as a plus b plus c over 2. And this r is the in radius the radius of the inscribed circle of the triangle, which can be expressed as square root of s minus a times s minus b times s minus c divided by s. Now this expression for the in radius is just as interesting as the law of cotangents itself. So I am going to prove the in radius formula first and then prove the law of cotangents. All right, so first let's prove the in radius formula. We have to find this length r, where this point i is the in-center, the center of the inscribed circle of triangle ABC. And now let's take a look at the formula that we want to prove. Doesn't this part look familiar? Can you answer where you have seen this expression? Well, I guess many of you might remember the Heron's formula, the formula to compute the area of the triangle when three side lengths are given. This formula contains the semi-parameter s, and more importantly, this s minus a, s minus b, s minus c part that is also present in the in radius formula. The Heron's formula can be proved by using the law of cosines or the Pythagorean theorem, and it does not require the law of cotangents that we are about to prove later. So this is one way to calculate the area of the triangle, but the area of the triangle ABC can be calculated by another method. If we connect the in-center i with three vertices, then the area of the triangle ABC can be obtained from areas of triangles BCI, CAI, and ABI. Here for triangle BCI, the base length is A and the height is R, the in-radius. For triangle CAI, the base length is B and the height is R. And for triangle ABI, the base length is C and the height is R. Therefore, we can write it as 1 half times A plus B plus C times R. And this 1 half times A plus B plus C equals S. So this equals SR. Therefore, if we compare these two, we have square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c equals s r. And you can easily notice that this gives the desired in radius formula. So now that we have proved the in radius formula, let's move on to the proof of the law of cotangents. You may have learned from basic geometry course that this length and this length are equal this length and this length are equal, and this length and this length are equal. Our first interest is these length, which we will denote as x. Then this length is c minus x, and this length is b minus x. Since this length plus this length is equal to this length plus this length, you can easily notice that c minus x plus b minus x equals a, and this gives x equals b plus c minus a over 2, and we can write this as a plus b plus c then minus 2a over 2, and since this part is s, we have x equals s minus a. So we have obtained D's length, S minus A, and if we do this in a similar manner, we can also find D's length shown in the figure, S minus B and S minus C. Also, if we consider the angles, 
we can find that these two angles are both alpha over 2, these two angles are both beta over 2, and these two angles are both gamma over 2. Therefore, from the very definition of cotangent, cotangent alpha over 2 equals S minus A over R, cotangent beta over 2 equals S minus B over R, and cotangent gamma over 2 equals S minus C over R, and these three equalities can be rearranged into cotangent alpha over 2 over S minus A equals cotangent beta over 2 over S minus B equals cotangent gamma over 2 over S minus C equals 1 over R. So we have proved the law of cotangents. And let's also solve this exercise problem. It says using the law of cotangents we just proved, the in-radius formula and angle addition formulas of trigonometric functions prove the following Movides formula. And there are actually two of them. a plus b divided by c equals cosine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by sine gamma over 2 and a minus b divided by c equals sine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by cosine gamma over 2. So let's prove the first formula first. Here I will start from the right hand side and derive the left hand side from it. So we have cosine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by sine gamma over 2. And we can eliminate this gamma right away by using alpha plus beta plus gamma equals pi. Then we have cosine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by sine pi over 2 minus alpha plus beta over 2. So cosine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by the denominator becomes cosine alpha plus beta over 2. Then we apply the angle addition and subtraction formulas for cosine functions, which gives cosine alpha over 2 cosine beta over 2 plus sine alpha over 2 sine beta over 2. And in the denominator, cosine alpha over 2 cosine beta over 2 minus sine alpha over 2 sine beta over 2. Here, if we divide both numerator and denominator by sine alpha over 2 sine beta over 2, then the numerator becomes cotangent alpha over 2 cotangent beta over 2 plus 1, and the denominator becomes cotangent alpha over 2 cotangent beta over 2 minus 1. So if we apply the law of cotangents, we have First, we have s minus a times s minus b divided by r squared, then plus 1 here, divided by s minus a times s minus b divided by r squared minus 1. And now it's time to make use of this in-radius formula. Using the in-radius formula, it can be easily shown that we obtain s over s minus c plus 1 divided by s over s minus c minus 1, which simplifies to 2s minus c divided by c. So using the semi-parameter formula, we obtain a plus b divided by c. And this concludes the proof. The second formula can be proved in a similar manner. We start from the right-hand side. So this equals and change the denominator into cosine pi over 2 minus alpha plus beta over 2, which gives sine alpha plus beta over 2. Then apply the angle addition formula for sine. So we have sine alpha over 2 cosine beta over 2 minus cosine alpha over 2 sine beta over 2 divided by sine alpha over 2 cosine beta over 2 plus cosine alpha over 2 sine beta over 2. Then if you divide with sine alpha over 2 sine beta over 2, 
you have cotangent beta over 2 here minus cotangent alpha over 2 here and in the denominator cotangent beta over 2 plus cotangent alpha over 2 and from the law of cotangents we have s minus b over r minus s minus a over r and s minus b over r plus s minus a over r and here the in radius r is nicely cancelled out so we simply have a minus b divided by 2s minus a minus b which simplifies to a minus b over c now some of you might wonder but do we really need the law of cotangents to prove this can we solve this problem without using the law of cotangents well of course we can and i actually prefer this method over the previous one I will start from the left hand side this time and derive right hand side from it. First, we apply the law of sines. Then we can change this ratio between length into the ratio between sines of angles, which gives sine alpha plus sine beta divided by sine gamma. And then we have to use another trigonometric formula called sum to product formula. Then, on the numerator, we have 2 sine alpha plus beta over 2, cosine alpha minus beta over 2. And on the denominator, we apply the double angle formula for sines, which gives 2 sine gamma over 2, cosine gamma over 2. So we cancel 2. And using that alpha plus beta plus gamma equals pi, this alpha plus beta over 2 can be written as pi over 2 minus gamma over 2. So we have this. And this part is equal to cosine gamma over 2. So cancelling these cosine gamma over 2, we obtain cosine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by sine gamma over 2 which is this right-hand side. Similarly, for the second formula, first, we use the law of sines, which gives sine alpha minus sine beta divided by sine gamma. Then we apply another sum to product formula. So we have two cosine alpha plus beta over 2 sine alpha minus beta over 2 and for the denominator we use the double angle formula so 2 sine gamma over 2 cosine gamma over 2 and for this alpha plus beta over 2 we can write pi over 2 minus gamma over 2 and this part becomes sine gamma over 2 so cancelling out these we obtain sine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by cosine gamma over 2 which is the right hand side of the formula and that's all for today's video thank you all for watching please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video and i will see you in another video